Tonight's topic is um, running etiquette. Just a couple of common courtesies that, that we should try and do um, when we're out running. When we see people running the other way or biking the other way, just you know, say hi, acknowledge them, whatever, be friendly, don't be that standoffish crowd. A lot of our runs were on a, a narrow paved path, so when when runners are coming the other way, make sure you know you're only running one or two abreast to leave them plenty of room to go by. Um, when we're running here in the Kentlands on Wednesdays and some Saturdays, we're we're often on the sidewalks and they're narrow, and people live here in the Kentlands. So um, when you see other people out on the sidewalks, please go into single file when we go around them or they're going past us going the other way just to give them lots of room. Things unique to runners, we're out running in the summer and we're running pretty far, um, especially once the miles get up, you know, 10, 10 plus miles. Um, we get pretty gross and we do gross things as runners. Um, some of us spit um, in the summer, some of us have allergies in the winter, there's head colds, um, so we wanna blow our nose and um, do what's called a snot rocket. And there's just certain um, common courtesies on that. If you're in your group and you feel the need that you have to do that, drop back to the end of your group and do it off on the side of the path so it's not on the path, it's in the woods or it's... As the miles increase, we're gonna start taking nutrition. So please, if you take nutrition, um, if there's not a, a trash can where we are when we're taking it, please take your trash with you, don't drop it on the trail. If you're a guy and you're like, it's really hot, I'm going to run with no shirt today. Maybe think again about that idea because um, no one here is, is Ryan Reynolds or David Beckham, so um, you might want to think twice about keeping that shirt on. Some of our runs are point-to-point -point runs. On those point-to-point -point runs, we might run like down the CCT into um, Eastern Market and we'll finish the run at Eastern Market and then we'll take either Uber or the Metro back to, um, back to Bethesda where we started. We will have support on those runs so you can have a drop bag and you can change your clothes down there. But if you opt not to change your clothes and you ride the Metro back, don't sit down because you're really gross. And you got we run in the summertime and it's really hot. So, um, you know, deodorant only goes so far. I sweat like a dog when I run. I mean, I six miles on Saturday, I was dripping. So on 20 miles, it's like I've gone swimming. Um, I just know that, but this is more towards the women. Um, perfume on a long run, not necessarily a good idea because other people around you really don't want to smell your perfume and we're on a 20 mile run we know you're going to sweat and you're going to smell and that's just what it is so don't put perfume on on your long runs when you're approaching runners and you're going to pass them the common courtesy is to call out runner back or on your left to let them know that you're going to pass um, the same thing, if you're running in a group and you hear runners coming up on you, let your group know, be like runners back. You know, let them, let your whole group know that runners are coming up and they're gonna pass you. The same with bikes, a lot of the paths we ride have a lot of bike traffic. Um, so it's always good if you see bikes either coming towards you, yell out bike up. If, if you hear a bike behind you, yell bike back. Just so we know to like move over and create that space for the bikes to get around us. A couple of race day etiquettes um, in case you're running a race before we talk about it at the end of the program. Is be reasonable in your expectations. Like if you've been if if you've been running with the 10 minute group the whole time and you and you're like, well, I'm gonna aim for running a nine minute pace, don't line up in the first or second corral with all the fast runners because that's not really the corral that you're supposed to be in in these bigger races. You just end up making runners like leave around you. If you have to start walking during your race, like check behind you first, raise your hand up, let the runners behind you know that you're gonna walk, try and be over on the right before you just all of a sudden stop in the middle of the, of the 
race course and start walking um, because on the crowded races someone's going to run into you. Walk through the water stops, like don't stop at the water stop. It's okay to walk through them, but don't stop. Another one for during the races is those poor race marshals that are out there. They're out there all day, so um, if you're like most of us, we're not going to win that race. So when we run by them, if you can just say thanks. Don't take yourself too seriously. You know, we're out running, it's a great sport, but we look pretty ridiculous at the end of some of these races. And so just embrace that, you know, that we're, we, we tend to be pretty broken down at the end of long races. And, and so embrace, you know, that we look pretty funny at the end.